Okay. In today's notes, we're going to take a look at um, one last type of density and do some more challenging density problems. So another type of density is quantity de uh, density. So for example, the size of an air conditioner that is purchased for a room depends on the volume of airspace that you want to cool, and this is called a BTU, or British Thermal Unit, per cubic unit of space. So the ratio that we're looking at is the total number of BTUs over the cubic foot of airspace. So number one, an exercise class at the YMCA is attended by 16 people. They each produce 1,800 BTUs during class, and the dimensions of the room are 35 feet by 20 feet by 10 feet. How many BTUs per cubic foot will they produce? Give your answer to the nearest BTU per cubic foot. And they, they tell you what they need. So even if you didn't know what a BTU was, they tell you they want the ratio of the number of BTUs per cubic foot. So let's take a look at the volume of the room. It says it's 35 by 20 by 10. So let's multiply 35 by 20 by 10 and we get 7,000 cubic feet. Now our total number of BTUs is 16, because we have 16 people, but they each produce 1,800 BTUs. So 16 times 1,800 is 28,000 800, 28,800. So now my ratio of BTUs per cubic foot, um, putting it together, would be 28,800 divided by 7,000, and it's 4.11428714. Rounding to the nearest BTU per cubic foot, so the nearest whole number, the answer is 4 BTU per cubic foot. All right, number two. Now we're going to take a look at some harder density problems. So snow cone consists of a paper cone completely filled with shave ice and topped with a hemisphere of shaved ice, as shown in the diagram below. That's actually in the diagram to the right. Um, or actually your note page, the new note page, says as shown in the diagram. The inside of the diameter of both the cone and the hemisphere is 7.2 centimeters, which is marked. The height of the cone is 19.1 centimeters, which is marked. And the desired density of the shaved ice is 0 0.697 grams per cubic centimeter. And the cost per kilogram of ice is $3.83. Determine and state the cost of ice needed to make 30 snow cones. So let's, let's know a couple of things. Um, to find the total cost, we take, because the cost is per kilogram, we're going to need to know the number of kilograms Um, then times uh, the 383. We can also note, okay, to find the number of kilograms, that's mass, okay? Density is the ratio of mass to volume, but mass is equal to density times volume. And they give us the density of 0 0.697 grams per cubic centimeters, um, but they tell us the density in terms of grams. So we're going to have to convert the grams to kilograms. 
So let's note that then one kilogram, that's equal to 1,000 grams. So let's find the volume of the snow cone. Okay, we've got density, we need volume. So the volume of the snow cone is going to be the cone plus the hemisphere. So on your reference sheet, the volume for a cone, the formula is on there. So it's one-third pi r squared h. And then the hemisphere is half of the four-thirds um, pi r cubed, which is two-thirds pi r cubed. So both of these formulas are on your reference sheet. Uh, we need the radius. We have a diameter of 7.2, so our radius is 3.6. So let's substitute in the radius of 3.6, and we get one-third pi times 3.6 squared times the height of the cone, right here, 19.1, plus the 2 thirds pi times 3.6 cubed. Okay? So I'm doing the math. Um, because of the 1 third, and this is going to end up being uh, a third, even though it's a 2 thirds pi r cubed, I'm going to write it. Um, with a common denominator, both of these, of 3, so I can just combine and then type it in the calculator. So I'm multiplying the 3.6 squared times 19.1, that's 247.536 pi. And then over here, the 3.6 cubed is 93.312 pi. And combining those, we get 340.848 pi all over 3. So you add the numerators and um, keep the denominator the same. Now, that's the volume of 1. Okay? We are making 30 snow cones. So I'm going to take the volume of 1, and in this step, I'm going to multiply by 30. And when we do that, we can cross-cancel. 3 goes into itself once, goes into 30 10 times, and the volume of 30 snow cones is 3,408.48 pi cubic centimeters. Next, I'm going to calculate the total grams, okay, of 30 snow cones. So the total grams of 30 snow cones, so 30 times, oh, no, we already did the times 30. What am I doing? Uh, I need to take the, again, mass equals density times volume. And the mass equals the density of 0. 697 grams per cubic centimeter times our total volume of 3408.48 pi centimeters cubed. So our units cancel out. And we get a total of 7,463. 0.514842 grams. Okay? So that's the total number of grams. I'm going to divide by 1,000 to change that to kilograms. And it's 7.463514842 kilograms. And I'm going to leave that exact. Okay? And now I'm going to multiply now to get my total cost. We're going to multiply that times the cost per uh, kilogram of $3.83. And after typing that into the calculator, we get 
0.58526184. Okay, but in terms of money, we want to go out two decimal places. So the total cost um, uh, that's, that we need in order to make 30 snow cones is $28.59. Okay, the la uh, last one, and this one is very similar um, to what was on a state test, okay, so on a region. So number three says new street lights will be installed along a section of highway. The post for the street lights will be 8.25 meters tall and made of aluminum. The city can choose to buy posts shaped like cylinders or the posts shaped like rectangular prisms. The cylindrical posts have a hollow core with aluminum 2.25 centimeters thick and an outer diameter of 61.3 centimeters. The rectangular prism posts have a hollow core with aluminum of 2.25 centimeters thick and a square base that measures 50 centimeters on each side. The density of aluminum is 2.7 grams per centimeters cubed and the cost of aluminum is 39 cents per kilogram. If all posts must be the same shape, which post design will cost the town less? How much money will be saved per streetlight post with the less expensive design? So I'm first going to take a minute and draw each. Okay? So I'm going to move this all the way, not too far, since I can't reach it. And I'm going to sketch, let's start with the cylindrical post. I'm going to draw the cylinder. And it stated in the question that they have a hollow core. So I'm going to sketch, you know, the cylinder within a cylinder is here is the hollow core. Okay. I'm going to do the same with the rectangular prism. And the rectangular prism, it said, has a square base. So I'm going to sketch that. Okay, I'm also going to sketch another one inside because it's hollow. I'm going to grab a different color and label the dimensions. So um, the post for the street lights will be 8.25 meters tall. Okay, but then the density is given in terms of grams per centimeters cubed. So I'm going to change the meters to centimeters. And let's just make a note here that there are 100 centimeters in one meter. So both of them are going to be 800, so 8.25 times 100 is 825 centimeters tall. Okay, they did tell us um, the outer diameter of the cylinder in terms of centimeters. So from the center to the outside, and they told us that's going to be, um, actually the diameter is 61.3, but we only need the radius. So I'm going to divide that by 2, and our radius is 30.65 centimeters. Okay. Now this section here, all right, is 2 quarter 
centimeters. The inner, or I'm sorry, the aluminum, even though it's not the scale. So that's two and a quarter centimeters thick. Um, so that means the inside radius, let's go blue, this inside radius, uh, 30.65, subtract uh, 2.25 is 28.4 centimeters. Over to the rectangular prism. Again, um, the thickness is 2.25 centimeters, and it said it's a square base of 50 centimeters. Okay. Um, what did it tell us? So, we need to find uh, the volume of the inner rectangular prism. So, I need the dimension of an edge of our square base. Okay? So, if I take the 50 centimeters and I subtract the 2 and a quarter and 2 and a quarter, we get a total length for that square base, I'll draw an arrow, of 45.5. Okay. All right. So now that we have our pictures labeled, let's go ahead and find the volume of the post. And I'll see if I can squeeze it in there. So the volume of this post is going to be, again, pi r squared h minus pi r squared h, the large minus the small. And then over here, the volume for the rectangular prism is length times width times height minus length times width times height. So plugging in the dimensions of the larger cylinder, this is going to be pi times our radius of the larger, again, was 30.65 squared times the height of 825, a little blurry, minus pi times our new radius once we subtract the 2 and a quarter, which was 28.4 squared times 825. Sorry that's so tight. I just don't want to move it up anymore because you're not there's not much there's not much on the screen that you can see. So I don't want to move up. I want to try to keep everything in sight. So now um, if we type that into the calculator, um, this is seven seven five zero two three point five six two five pi minus 6654 pi for total volume of 109611.5625 pi centimeters cubed. Whew. And over here, uh, length times width times height, where our length and width are the same, so it's going to be 50 times 50 times 825, which is um, 206, 2500. Sorry, I've got to type these in the calculator. And since I'm out of room, again, I'm going to write instead of uh, 45 and a half times 45 and a half, I'm going to put 45.5 squared times 825. And that will give us a product of 170795.6.25 with a final volume of 3545 43.75 so 1 2 3 comma 354,000 543.75 cubic centimeters. And I guess we can go over 1, 2, 3, 109,000. Okay? So those are the volumes of both. Now we have to determine which post design will cost the town less. So 
if we look back in the problem, it states, again, the cost is 39 cents per kilogram, okay? And our density is in terms of grams again. So I'm going to find first, okay, we're going to take the number of kilograms and multiply by 39 cents again. But I'm going to take and find the total number of grams, then divide by 1,000 like we did before. So when we talk about grams, that's mass. And mass is density times volume. Uh, let's go to purple, I guess. So for the cylindrical post, um, we have the density of 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter times the volume that we got above, 109,000, 611, 0.5625 pi centimeters cubed. The units cancel out, and when we multiply, we get, type it in the calculator, 929758.1746. Now that's grams. Now we're going to divide it by 1,000 to get 929.758.1746 kilograms, okay? Now, I'm going to actually, I didn't round the last one, but remember if I said you're going to round, take it out four decimal places. So the total cost now, I'm going to say um, 929, again, I'm rounding, so 7582. Uh, kilograms times the cost of 0 0.39. And since I'm running out of room, let's do the rounding right in the calculator. So let's type that in. And we get a total cost of $362.61. Same idea for the um, rectangular prism. Okay. So we're going to, again, math equals density times volume. We have a density of 2.7 grams times our volume of 354,543.75 cubic centimeters. And I forgot density, 2.7 grams per cubic centimeters. The units cancel. And in grams, let's type that in, ba, 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 is 9.5. 7268.125 grams, divide by 1,000, and we get, um, I'm going to round four decimal places, and I'm running out of room, so I'm rounding it 957.2681 times the 39 cents for a total cost of... Again, that's round uh, $373.33. So it's going to cost the town less to make the cylindrical post. Okay, and how much less? Well, we take 373.33 and subtract 362.61 to get a difference of 1072. So my answer the cylindrical post will cost the town less and they will save or the town will save Ten dollars and seventy two cents per street light post.